Well, let's take care of some unfinished business. This is the final episode of Bad Bad Shark. Unfinished business, and it's another pretty straightforward episode of The Clone Wars. Now that Echo's been recovered, it's time to finish the battle. So they basically use Echo's knowledge and win the arc. Not the arc, they win the battle of an axis. And yeah, that's pretty much all that happens. It wasn't that deep a complex episode. But it was really well done. I thought all the action was really well done from all the tracking shots to all the sweeping armies and battles of clones. It all lo looked amazing. And I f honestly feel, again, I'm probably again, one of the biggest bummers of this sh arc is that it wasn't completed because there are some stunning visuals all around that probably would have looked amazing had the show been finished. And also there were a lot of great character moments i mean i think the most powerful one that stands out to me is we have anakin killing trench not only kind of showing the separation between anakin and trench which sort which foreshadows his fall to the dark side but also trench died like wow like who would have thought and he goes down with his like sh net electric shooting net and electric cane which Never fought Trench to have that stuff, but at least he went down fighting. So yeah, apparently, had the Clone Wars stuck around, we would have gotten the deaths of Mother Talzin and Admiral Trench. And the return of Echo, so yeah. But I digress. There's also some good comedy. Like, I love the line Mace Windu has about killing the droids and securing victory on an axis. Yeah, so, sorry I blanked out. It was just a funny little line. And there was also this line about how securing an axis is going to help them win victory in the war and help many areas fall. And it's kind of bringing us up to speed of how we're nearing the end of the Clone Wars, like the Republic's winning, the Separatists are nearing the end. And the if you read... Dark Disciple, there's an excerpt of Dark Disciple in, in the back of Lords of the Sith, and they mention how the war has almost been going on for three years, so they're doing all these little things in the Clone Wars to kind of show we're getting near the end of the, the war and the show. Yeah. Bad Batch was fun, still. I love when Wrecker just punches all those droids and Crosshair snipes one, then Wrecker gets to blow up all the ships. It was fun. My only complaint... So yeah... That's pretty much all I have to say in the episode. So overall, I really enjoyed this arc. It was a fun arc. It wasn't... I don't think it was the best arc that Brent's ever in. I feel like the Obi-Wan arc he wrote, I thought that was a lot more fun. I thought there's a lot more variety here. A lot of it was just straightforward action. Whereas here, you had a fun mishmash of stuff. You had a face-off episode. You had, like, a... The box episode, which was so cool, you had the the transition, the episode before that where they're going to Dooku's planet, and then you had the awesome finale with twist after twist. I mean, this was still really good, but I, I, don't know, I just felt like there was a lot more variety in styles and tones in the other arc. But it was still a great arc. I mean, we still got the Bad Batch, and oh my gosh, the Bad Batch is so fun. I'm so happy there was going to be another arc planned for them, and I can see why Matt would want to have these guys come back in future episodes because they are so much fun thankfully they were i mean my only real complaint outside of the fact this was an anime is i wish there was a bit more of an interesting internal conflict i mean there was the bad batch was fun but i thought there'd be a bit more fun clashing of ideologies or echo coming back would mean a bit more because i look at the umbar arc and just how much all the great internal conflicts that occurred in that arc, and I don't feel like I quite got that here. And I don't feel like this would have been the best arc in Season 7, because, I don't know, because it's a clone arc, and I'm honestly, I feel like the Ventress arc would, would have been the big arc of the season, but still really good. I mean, I feel like this would have been the Alderaan, Alderaan arc. Really good. But something really awesome and overshadowed. I'm not trying to put Brent Freeman down. As this was a fun arc, but like this wouldn't make my top ten list. Ben, there are so many great episodes. I'm not saying the arc isn't good. Good, it's really good. It's just it's not like my top ten favorite. 
nonetheless, I'm still so happy we got to see this arc. I mean, it was a fun arc. It was great to go back to the Clone Wars. It was great to see Marty's characters. I mean, the fact a year ago when I learned about this arc, I was so worried we were never going to get it, and I'm just grateful we got it. So, once again, before I sign out, I want to thank Dave Filoni and all the Clone Wars crew for listening to the fans and putting the story out there for all of us. To Brent Freeman, I want to congratulate you for finally getting your story out to you. I mean, I don't, while I personally don't think this is your best writing, um, I know it means a lot to you, and I'm sure it means a lot to you that you finally got to see. And I can see why you love it. I mean, the Bad Batch, they're such fun characters, and yeah, really hoping we get to see them, the Kashyyyk arc, so we can see them again. And that's pretty much all to say. So again, really good arc. If you haven't seen it for some reason, I'd highly recommend you check it out. It's it's good times. So, yeah, leave your thoughts. Again, I really don't have that much to say about the arc. That Because, again, they're, not the arc, the episode, just because it was pr pretty much an action episode. There wasn't too much going on in it. But, yeah, so that's going to be all the Clone Wars vlogs for now. So, I, I mean, unless Filoni surprises us and releases, like, the Boba Fett arc or the... Kashyyyk arc within the next few days I'm probably the within the next few days the next time you see me vlogging about Clone Wars it'll be for Dark Disciple which hopefully will make it clear what chapters are a part of which episodes but if not I'll just review the whole novel so yeah until then this is Star 60 and may the force be with you take care